In this video, I'll be explaining the concepts based on closed loop transfer function of a control system. So without any further ado, let's get started. This question was given in the year 1995 and the question is they have given a closed loop transfer function of a control system and it is having a unit step input. We need to find the output here. Now in the question they have given that input is basically a unit step input. That means input is a, a unit signal. Now we basically need to find the output of this system. Now we know that a transfer function is basically a ratio of output divided by input. This is very really basic and I hope you all know this. So even in this question they have clearly given that C of S by R of S is the transfer function whose value is 2 times S minus 1 by S plus 2 into S plus 1. That means our input is R of S and our output is C of S. Now we need to find the output that is not C of S because this is in S domain. We need to find the input which is in T domain that is C of T. But for finding C of T we should first know C of S and in that case we will use this equation C of S equals transfer function into R of S. And since our input is given as U of T that means R of T is basically unit step function. In this case our R of S will be Laplace transform of U of T. We very well know that Laplace transform of a unit step signal is 1 by S. Uh, substituting this with this equation that is 2 c of s as transfer function divided by s now from equation 1 we know that transfer function will be 2 times s minus 1 divided by s plus 2 into s plus 1 and multiplying this with 1 by s we will have our c of s. We will write c of s here. Now using partial fractions. For solving these type of problems, we should only know two, two important formulas. I will write this here. First is Laplace transform. This is very very important for solving problems based on transfer function. And second most important thing is solving partial fractions. These two are very important for solving problems based on transfer function. Now you might know the rule for applying partial fractions. That is very simple. We take this equation on the left hand side and here we write the right hand side as the sum of the following terms and we will cross multiply this RHS. We will have the denominator on both sides will get cancelled on adding. Now case 1 put s equals 0. We we'll have 2 into minus 1 which is equals to a. 2 into 1 will be 2 plus since s is present here and here we will put b and c as 0. So in that case our answer will remain that is a is equals to minus 1 case 2 putting s equals minus 2 we will have 2 times minus 3 and putting s equals minus 2 here and here will bring us 0 so we will consider coefficients of a and c as 0 and here b will be minus 2 times minus 1 and on cancelling 2 from both sides we will have our answer as b equals minus 3. Now case 3 putting s equals minus 1. 2 times minus 2 equals 
here putting s equals minus 1 here and here will bring us 0 and hence coefficients of a and b will be 0 here and we will consider c is equals to minus 1 into 1. This should bring an answer c is equals to 4. So finally we got all the coefficients a, b and c putting them in our equation 3 we will have c of s equals minus 1 by s plus minus 3 by s plus 2 plus 4 by s plus 1. On taking inverse Laplace transform we will have c of t as minus 1 by s should be u of t and minus 3 by s plus 2 should be minus 3 e power minus 2 t in Laplace transform and plus 4 by s plus 1 should be 4 e power minus t that means we have our answer that is option a if you find this video useful please click the like button don't forget to share this video with your friends and also subscribe this channel to get more concepts like this one